Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the finest Dawn of War unification casts this side of East Yorkshire. And today we've got a 1 versus 1 on Titan's Fall. Playing as the Orcs, we've got Warlord. And playing as the Death Guard, we have got Vrax. Vrax will be opening up with triple Nurgle Cultist, Temple of Disease, and a Scourge Generator. Whereas the Orcs are going to go for a couple of Sluggers, Grot Squad, Boys Hut, and a Generator. Just green on green today. Vrax has opened with a... He's, well, he's gone for his seventh company. Mortarian's Chosen Sons. We've seen it plenty of times on this channel before. Got an extra power boost to their plague-spewing devices. As well as the option to get Mortarian later on in the game, should they choose. Plague Lord having an ability where he's able to ignore the cover of his opponents is always nice. But nothing too crazy for an opening at the moment. Everyone's going for their standard bits and bobs. Just capturing their nearest and dearest, as it were. Got Shooter Boy Squad coming out from the boys' hut. Well, I've got a little bit of downtime. I will say that we have finally, good lord, we've finally managed to get that, uh, what's it called, the Kill Team Battlecast done. Took me absolutely ages, it did. But we're going to done, gosh darn it. So we'll be on the channel eventually. It's on the Patreon at the moment, just chilling out for two weeks. If you want to see that a little bit earlier, have a look at the description. And if not, then just wait, you know. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the way things are. I see a big mech coming out. And what did you go for? We we saw some lads coming out. Ah, we've gone for some Assault Plague Marines. Which are quite lethal in close combat. Especially once they get their charge upgrade. But I think that you need to get that from the... Whatever that building is called. The one with the squiggly mouth on it. For the life of me, I cannot remember. But it's that's where you get the charge reset from. Pound for pound, these Assault Marines will certainly sort out these Slugger Boys. But spoiled by Shoot Boys. Love to see how they get up. First engagement of the match. Shit boy is going up against these Nurgle Death Cultists. Or just Cultists regulate. We're engaging in some argy barge in close combat. Assault Marines are going to waddle their way over. Big Mech teleporting in. Firing around with his pistol. Gets down one model. Almost getting down a second. In fact, they might actually get one. Not particularly fast. Even though the Cultists quite slow. So one squad wipe there. Salt Plague Marines probably not wanting to stay around. Now a lower number at the moment. Can get a maximum of five models in one squad. But yeah, these guys are just going to slow but surely walk away. Shield Boy is going to capture this critical location in the middle. It does look like we're actually going for all three at the same time. So we'll split up the... Ah, you're a gift repository. That's what you're called. It's the squiggly mouth thing that's coming up. But actually, I do not like that. I would just like... Just... Snakes its way out. Ugh. Disgusting. But yeah, with all the critical locations being captured, will mean that the Death Guard will have to move around a little bit, which is not what the Death Guard really wants to do. Mobility is not what they're known for. But they can counter out that with some Chaos Rhinos, so that's something. Or Bloated Rhinos, as, as, as the Death Guard want to call it. Got some cultists coming around over on this side. Having a little look at these Slugger Boys. Not sure if they'll be able to take him on that. Oh, no, just going to be ignored. Fair enough. Orcs choosing not to listen to the impulsive thoughts and instead go for a non-violent path. Listening personnel firing lots of goop at the big mech. Doing a lot of damage to him, actually, but he will teleport away. And realistically, the strategy for the Orcs at the moment, they've, they've spread out, which is good, using the Death Guard's low maneuverability in the tier 1 to their full advantage. I imagine shooters will be the way forward. Can't imagine Storm Boys being all that useful if the Death Guard decides to go majority Assault Marines. Playcourt is going to see if they can strike these guys down, but does not look like they're doing all that much. I mean, they've got the numbers, so they, they might do something there, but taking quite a lot of damage. Oh no, never mind, they're doing it. They're playing the feud, they're getting there. If the Orcs don't reinforce themselves, We'll have a bad time all around. Over on this side, Big Mech teleporting behind the mainstay of these guys. Looks like a grenade has gone off on these shooter boys, making them feel less than fresh. But the cultists once again being focused fired down. Maybe cultists are no longer the way forward if they are so vulnerable to the shooter boys. They don't even have their big shooters yet, so that shows how vulnerable they are. Which is strange, because in, in most games I've seen before, those cultists take on, like, 
Space Marine Scout's quite nimbly. Even the Dark Angels... Was it Dark Angels that we saw the other day? Imperial Fists? Salamanders? I can't, for the life of me, I can't remember. You know what I'm about. You can, you can look. You can open up another window and double check for me. I need to be in the real moment. I need to be right here, right now. This big mech giving this guy a squeeze before throwing him down to his knees. All these guys exploding in a puff of green smoke before floating down into the ground. Quick decomposition. Big Mac, look at the speed he's going at. He suddenly is not able to really get any distance away from him. And this is a sizable amount of shooter boys now going to go for their big shooters. He's also got some real issues going on at the moment. Current economy is 98 and 10 compared to 98 and 30. Oh, well, look at that. Tier 2 going for the Death Guard. Is Tier 2 for the... No, no Tier 2 for the Orcs as of yet. But with all this money being pumped into the shooter boys... I imagine some vehicles will be the way forward. Our poor cult has been thrown over the shoulder of the Titan. The big mech doing a great job at screening these assault marines away from the shooters. But he's now quite low on health himself. He will waddle away. Got to keep an eye on that countdown as well. Don't want to lose a game purely based on critical location losses. Of a feculent normal just chilling out around here. Quite difficult for the Slugger boys riding solo to get through both a listing post and a normal. Salt player squad now with a bubo bu bubertic axe. There we go. I can read that word. But no, that, that axe does not do them any good. No good whatsoever. Yeah, maybe melee squads are not the way forward. Maybe now that you've got your tier twos. Ah, uh, Nergle- I'm not sure if the Nergle Cult is the way forward, Mr. Vrex. Gonna go for a Blight Grenade Research. Maybe there's Havocs, but then again... The Havocs, you need to get that Putrid Missile Research for it to be any good against the massive... Uh, Shooter Boys. Got some Storm Boys. See, now earlier on I said that I did not expect this, but... Turns out that... Yeah, you can just bring them in. The... Death Guard are unable to really keep their numbers up for their assault marines. Got a malignant plague caster on the way. Shooter boys taking out that listing purse, decapping it. Great and what are you going to do? Cultists, you're going to walk over there and you're just going to get smashed up. That's not the way forward. Tribulation Mound has been grown. Alright, so a, malign a malignant plague caster. What can you do exactly in this situation? I mean, it's a good job that Warlord didn't realise that he had the massive army advantage, because he could have just walked straight in there. But then again, I suppose it's this listing post. With it being upgraded with the 7th Company, there's a lot more damage than it would regulate. And sure, boys, not all that all that strong in the way of health. Got three squads there. Normally you only see two, as three's a little bit overkill. Gonna build more generators. Are, are you in tier... Uh, no, tier 2 now. Okay, so I'm gonna go for blasty research. You are just committing to the to the shooters. That's fine. No worries whatsoever. But that's a lot. That's a lot of eggs to put in one basket. Got a foul blight spawn on the way. Incredibly powerful unit. But apparently also quite fragile. You're gonna see some zappy bits from the plague caster. Always got some plague bearers coming in. Not sure if slow-moving melee units are the way forward here, but we do have the flames going on here, and look how quickly they're able to bring people down. Especially- ooh, quite like that little skull animation there. Quite pretty. But look at that. Actually, you know what? I'll take it all back. Plague Bearer to draw the fire. And Foul Blight Spawn to just murder things. Another Plague Grenade going on. Big mech also going to go down in a pile of filth as well. Yeah, well, you know, the <laughs> how many orcs was that? That was 8, 16, 24 orcs killed by just a couple of guys and a couple of gals. Got some more plague bearers on the way. And God, that was overkill, Mr. Malignant Plague Caster. But still, as strong as they are, they need to make sure that decaps have... Ah, you've decapped that. 
Oh, well done. Good job. Managing to get both at the same time. That's what you want. Listing post over here being taken down. Although this one over here yet to be recaptured. Need to get that at some point. Going for some more shooter boys and... Ooh, a de um, an air tower. So I imagine they're going to be death jets or whatever that you call them. I completely forget what they're called. Which, I mean, not sure how they'll fare against the foul blight spawn. But I mean, they'll at least avoid being smacked up by those plague bearers. But nothing coming out at the moment. Foul Blight spawn being shot at by these big shooters. Gonna jump inside. Oh, I quite like that, sir. So if they got like any AoE damage or damage over time, those boys can just jump inside the listening post and wait for that to tick away. Very clever. Nice. Well, I mean, these cultists, they're not. What, what, what are you doing? We're just like ignoring being close combat for a second. Although it's like my, one of my very good friends, Matthew, IRL, always says there are no problems in the world you can't solve by ignoring them until they go away. Apart from things like pregnancy, in which case, running away is your only chance there. Got blood right up, as well as a poison launch at research. Because who needs regular smoke grenades when you can have smelly smoke? God, ah, Daka Jet, that's what you're called. Right, okay. Yeah, these guys are going to rip apart anything that they come in contact with. In fact, yeah, only a couple of shots. Already bringing that bloated rhino down to a good chunk of health. Get a couple of those guys in as well. You'll be laughing. Malignant Playcaster doesn't look like he's able to fire upwards. Doesn't quite have the, the neck for it to look upwards. And what's that thing in Shaun of the Dead? Where they have a debate about can dogs look up? You know, it, it's 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 uh, it's an important, important debate to have. Can dogs look up? Can malignant playcasters look up? It's all it all comes down to the same same mechanics, I guess. But yeah, the cultists have been wiped out once again. Sure boys taking some damage to the face, but doing all right when they're being supported by the Daka Jet. Got a blurred rhino coming forth. What's inside you? I completely forgot. Is it the foul blight spawns? It is the foul blight spawns. Okay. But well, can be wiped out more or less. Another Daka jet on the way. This is spelling some mischief. Throwing another grenade in there. Tank busters there. So they won't do much against the infantry here. And actually, those. Plague spewing dudes not doing all that well against the Daka Jets. Seems like that no one's able to fire at them for whatever reason. Air superiority, firmly within the Orc's grasp, we'll need to have some sort of alternative. Oh, there we go, Plague Havocs. Yep, that will make sense. Get as many of these guys as you can. Also going to go for those putrid missiles, one of the most important upgrades for the Death Guard if you want to field your Havocs. And these Storm Boys, they're just, just having a grand old time. Keeping this area of the map within their control. Nice. Okay, uh, economy is 1, 2, 2, and 30. Compared to 1, 1, 2, and 79. Gonna go for a fair Daka Jet. That's quite a lot. Warlord not known, apparently, for his unit dive. Oh, that, that'll be a fourth one. All right, okay. The Daka Jet spam. We saw it in the Tarshan 5 campaign. And if it works against... The Imperial Guard, why wouldn't it work against these plague-spewing humies? Cult is continuing that chase, or being chased. But Double Havocs should be alright. They should be able to tidy up these Daka Jets quite nicely. The Daka Jets do have the advantage of being able to traverse over this cover, which the Blood Runner cannot do. So as long as they keep on moving around, they should be all right. Like that unified firing animation there. Double time bus as well to keep that bloated rhino honest. But more foul blight spawn. They don't seem to be making that much of a difference in this engagement. Gray against the infantry. When there is infantry, but 
when you've got to fight through some Daka jets. The Storm Boys, what are you doing? You're just continuing on. Throwing it. Haha! <laughs> Good effort there, Storm Boy. A nice try for the grenade, but not quite. Yeah, these guys are just going to continue. I, we may as well just assume that that melee engagement is going to last forever in that corner. Daka Jets now worried for their own survival. But even more, look look at this, it's just there's, there's, there's no hybridization for this unit composition. It's just, right, I'm going to get one of... I'm going to get everything of one and everything of the other. And maybe also shoot a boy squad in there just for good measure. Well, these Storm Boys over here that's been standing around for quite some time. Just chilling up, minding their own business. One Storm Boy left. He's going to have a friend before he d he himself dies. Yeah, looks like he's been left to his own devices. And one Poxwalker slave tiptoeing his way down the centre here. I mean, it's a it's a strong composition from the art player. They just need to be able to lock down these. Havocs. If they can kill the Havocs, they've got an open route straight into the Death Guard's base. But then the Death Guard can just use their maneuverability, jump out, kill something really, really quick. Then the moment the Daka Jets come along, they've got to move that Bloated Rhino along. After all, the Bloated Rhino can't take too many hits from the Daka Jets, nor can they take too many hits from this mass of tank busters that will require as much maneuverability as humanly possible. These guys are just relaxing over here. Which is quite polite of them, actually, when you think about it. Yeah, you you, you take that. Mr. Death Guard, man. Whereas now... Yeah, this is a little bit too much. He's, he's kind of overextended here. Don't think he realised how many tank busters there were because they were infiltrated. But the moment he comes out, he gets to see him. And that is just... God blimey. That's not a happy day for anyone, is it? I mean, double grenades, doing a lot of damage, and actually, turning it around, he might get it done. Another Foul Blight spawn over on this side. And Havoc Marine's just going to engage in close combat, just for the fun of it. When they explode, a little bit of damage is done around them when they die. But no, they, they looked like they were about to turn around that engagement, but not quite. But still, turned it around enough so that the Orcs can't really make that much of an impressive counter-attack. Although they're getting insane that they have got four Daka Jets that they can just move over and kill something now. They'll attempt to probably reclaim this strategic point down here. Current economies are 88 and 79 compared to 132 and 49. So Death Guard firmly in the driving seat for the economy here. More Plague Havocs coming out of some virulent rounds. And uh, what are you? Foul Blight Spawns, okay. And a secondary Temple of Disease. Any vehicles coming out? Blurred Rhino on the way. What about for the Orcs? Anything fancy? They're going to go for Tier 3. And from Tier 3, what can you expect from the Orcs? Well, obviously, if Warlord's composition is anything to go by, he will probably buy some Flash Gates. But shame that they're limited at two units. Then again, you've also got the looters, which basically do the same kind of job. They're limited to two. They're like... I think if if, if, I'm, if memory serves, the flash gets are more anti-infantry, anti-heavy infantry orientated. Whereas the looters can turn their hand to being good against vehicles. Yeah, this listing post is going to go down. Cesspit, which is what the Death Guard need to bring out their big relic units. Not the best placement, let's be honest. With the Daka Jets just casually firing away at it. Death Guard unable to really counter at them at the moment. Gonna go for spot capacity increase. I mean, is is this is this enough? That's five Daka Jets, that's a lot of things to rip through. And it'll take a couple of volleys at the very least to kill a Daka Jet. But the one thing as well, they've got the... Storm Boys, but have they still got the Tank Busters? I'd have to go on to their side to see them in infiltrated once I... Have you not got any more? Alright, okay, fair enough. Oh no, we've got some over here. They're a non-factor at the moment because they're so far away. 
Yeah, Town Busters, they, what they could do is that they could fire at the Havocs. Basically knock them on the backside, preventing them from firing. Reducing the overall DPS. Lord Rhino going to drop these guys off. Just outside of, uh, of range, maybe even trying to hide behind the Bane Pit here by looks of things. Got Plague Predator on the way. And yeah, the Dark Jets, I like this. They kill that one thing. I think, you know what? While well, all those Havocs are there, I'm now going to bees back home. Look, could do with repairing some of these things. Always, 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 if you have the opportunity, repair your vehicles when they're not being in use. It's just, you know, environmentally friendly. There we go, double flash kits on the way. And a war boss, okay. Don't normally see a war boss being attached straight away to your flash kits, but with his war ability, he should be able to increase the movement speed and overall attack damage of flash kits. Not sure if that works for ranged damage. Or whether it just is like attack speed or whatever, but we shall see. Storm Boys over here finally been used. They're just go on, get that grenade in. Nice. A little bit more accurate than your friend from the uh, Never e Eastern side. One day I'll be able to figure out which side is east and west by not saying Never Eat Shredded Wheat. Is that like a universal thing, do you think? I wonder what other countries use to remember the order for north, east, south, and west. Let me know how you do it in the comments below. Look at that interaction. It's a community. A big engagement here. Double flash kits. Reiner got a little bit too close to personal in the sense that has been taken out. Stormboy's jumping out of that way of that plague grenade. But this is not a favourable engagement at all. And shot down quick as you like as the Boys give out a big war cry. And yeah, not great. The 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 sheer amount of firepower that these guys have got going on for them at the moment. The Death Guard really, really need to pick their battles. Keep moving around. Got a couple of plague bears coming in here. Why are you just to distract these guys for a little bit? Got a plague predator holding on its own. Trying to get some last cannons to take care of these DACA jets. But not doing all that well. Got some more foul blight spawns coming out. Plague Havocs to be rebuilt. Boxwalk Slave going to come over, see if he can dance. The Plague Predators cares away, but this is an overwhelming force coming in. Unless there's anything magical is coming through, Plague Best Crawler will do a lot of damage to the infantry, but the Daka Jets are your main problem here at the moment. I suppose now maybe maybe it's equal part flash kit and Daka Jet, that's the problem. It's going to take some sort of miracle from Nurgle himself. These guys want to carry on, carry on. Ah, look at that. He's gone for looters. I knew it. Consistent is this player. I like it. Makes it very easy for me to predict what he's going to do. Makes it sound like I know what I'm doing a lot more. Like Bear's Crawler going to open fire. Just a lot of damage. A lot of knockback as well. Might potentially give Vrax the breathing room that he needs. Are you building up anything else? And no, they've just got some Nagel Cutlass down there. Fair enough. Plague Best Crawler has been seen by the Daka Jets. And it's not meant to take any damage on the front lines. Quite comfortable on the back lines. Will be taken down quick as you like. But no, this does not look very pretty, and I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to call it here. Unless Vrax can pull anything major out, but... Well, we've, we've got the extra vehicle armor on the way. Got cultists that are being killed by these looters here. Yeah, I don't believe. I've lost faith. The force is not strong in this one. Got the looters. Upgrade themselves with a spanner. Do quite like the animation for that firing. Once he gets it firing, he just needs to stand still for long enough. We can't quite get it due to these plague burst crawlers firing. And yeah, there we go. So that's that's basically it. But yeah, nice one. Uh, well played by everyone. I do believe that both players had the right idea for their compositions. I think that the hit and run for the Death Guard would have probably changed the outcome of that if it was executed a little bit better but then again it, it was down here when you when you couldn't that's the, the one problem with the infiltrated units is that when you've got all of your boys inside the rhino they can't see anything so you came down here 
couldn't really move forward any further because there was just like tank bust everywhere. Oh well, that was that was all she wrote. Cool. Anyway, if you like the channel, have a look at the old Discord. Uh, not Discord. Patreon. Uh, one pound up gets you one extra game a week, as well as voting privileges for the next theme game. And oh yeah, yeah, do look at the Discord because Discord things happen on there, and it's all really good fun. Anyway, mine's been Miss Landshark. Pleasure as always, never chat. I will see you in a bit. Peace.